Hi there and welcome back to another episode of Sitting in a Car. I am Sarah Sproul and I sit in a car with you every week to help you raise a confident and caring young person who respects themselves and the people around them. The question for this week is, what sort of kid do you actually want to raise? And this is my question, this is not a parent question. So what sort of kid do you actually want to raise? Every week I say, I'm Sarah Sproul and I sit in a car and help you raise a confident and caring young person who respects themselves and the people around them, right? That's just my idea of what we want to raise. But do we actually want to raise a confident and caring young person who respects themselves and the people around them? All parents, all of us, and you are included in that, are going to have a different priority for what you want for your kids. Um, So when my small first baby child was in the world. She was probably about eight months old and my spouse and co-parent and I did a um, a parenting course because that's my jam. I love to learn if I'm not sort of clear on what I should be doing and just for record I absolutely was not clear on what I should be doing when I had a new small child. I'm on my natural inclination is to go and find a course. So I found this course and in the first week they said well what's your goal? for raising your child? What's your mission statement? And I was like, oh, I definitely do not have a mission statement. I need to write a mission statement. So we got together to write a mission statement and we listed about 30 qualities. One of them was kindness. You know, one of them was sort of strength, a sort of a sense of of self and that she, she knew who she was and she could go out in the world and be that person and speak about that sort of part of her. But like 30 30 qualities well I was a bit over the top so as a general rule in business or in anywhere else if we can have three core values if we know what our three top priorities um, are for our life and for our parenting and for our kid that's going to direct our actions so what are your three top values for your for your kid or for yourself what do you think is the most important qualities to have Now, um, I've said confident, caring, respectful. And in respectful, I've sort of have two things about self-respect, knowing who they are and being good with that, and respect for another person, knowing who other people are, that they're different from us, and we respect that difference. So, but what could be the three things for you? Have a think about that. That's maybe a little task I can set you for this week. What are the three things that you want for your kid? I'm going to give you some of the ones that parents have told me um, over the last year and a half as I've been doing this work. Some parents want their kid to honestly know who they are, their own self. So they know who they are and they are confident in who they are. and They don't have any shame about who they are. So what's the opposite of shame? Is that, uh, is that confidence? Is that uh, acceptance? A self-accepting kid? Maybe that's something that you want to give your child as a gift, their own sense of self-acceptance. What's another idea? What about this idea of being um, a seeker or a learner? For some people, for some parents, they want to foster that ability in their kid, that if their kid doesn't know something, then they want their kid to be a person who goes out to find information. So um, that would be if we're describing our kid like that. So if you're raising a kid who has the motivation to find out the information they need, Um, a self-starter maybe. We're all different. Let's think of one more before we finish up for this week. Maybe in your life you have um, had difficulty Uh, following instructions or um, towing the party line. Maybe in your work, you've had trouble working under managers who have expected a certain thing of you and, um, and it's got you into trouble. Perhaps that now means that you want your kid to have that skill. You want them to be able to work well with others. You see the value of that in an adult life. So you prioritize that and you are constantly working on that in your home environment. So there are three other things that you might want for your kid. And there are probably like 30 more that we could think of if we were really sitting down and had a piece of paper and a pencil and we're working through. You might like to do that for yourself. So when I finish today, I'm going to say 
to help you raise a confident and caring young person who respects themselves and the people around them because those were the values that came to my head when I was starting sitting in a car. But you may have different values and I would like to hear what they are. Please tell me. I'm all about gathering more information from the parent hive mind that, um, that you all are. And I would really love if you share with me the three values that are your top priority in your parenting. You can put them down below if you're watching on YouTube. You can email me them. Um, if you are getting this information in our weekly email, if this is on Facebook, comments down below. If you're in the um, private Facebook group, send me a private message or write a post about what the values are for your kid because the more we understand about what the options are out there, the variety, the diversity in parenting values, the more we may be able to identify the ones that are core for us and core for our kid. And that's sitting in a car for another week where you and I have sat in a car together and talked about something that will help you raise your confident and caring young person who respects themselves and the people around them. Bye for now.